Well, today we're here at Lake Gamby in Victoria with our good old friend Steve. Steve, you've been riding here for a number of years. I'm new to the area. Tell me a bit about it. Uh, it's a great spot to ride. You've got the lake, you've got the river. Um, uh, you know, the lake's not that large, but you can do anti-clockwise around the lake. And um, I prefer to ride up the river. There's a lot more to see. You can go to some wineries. So if you're riding a sit down, you can uh, go to a winery for lunch. There's two wineries you can go, go to up the river. You go the other way up the river, there's an old bridge and um, you, know, you end up down to the, down to the weir section. But it's, it's a good fun place to ride and um, yeah. So there's, a, so there's a bit to see obviously around here. Yeah, a bit to see, um, nice fresh water, it's, um, yeah, it's a good spot. Well Steve, as I said, I've not been here before, would you like to show us around? Yeah, let's go for a ride. Let's go. The town of Nagambi is located about 125 kilometres from Melbourne, in a pastoral and agricultural region between Seymour and Shepparton, on the shores of the picturesque Lake Nagambi. And what should people look for when they're riding around here? Is it safe with logs and there's no floating debris? Uh, there's a few stumps around, um, out in the lake. So watch out for those, stick to your five knot zones and, um, and you should be safe. But um, you know, as long as you're not riding too close to the edge, you, you should be right. And I see there's a lot of cabins and a lot of people and swimmers. Yeah, yeah, it's a great place, getting busier all the time. But um, yeah, yeah, I love it. When we arrived, I noticed there's a few picnic spots. There's a lot of people get up here, obviously from Melbourne, and just picnic as well. Yeah, a lot of people get up here and have a picnic, take their tinnies out and things like that, have a fish. So it's an uh, all-around place. Nagambi is an attractive holiday spot, offering varied water activities on the man-made lake and the neighbouring Goulburn River. All inland waterway boating and fishery regulations apply and are enforced in the Goulburn River and the Gamby Lake system. Speed restrictions are indicated in certain areas and a waterway map is located at the boat launching ramp at the Nagambi Lakes Regatta Centre. Established in 1860, Tabilk Winery is one of Australia's most beautiful and historic wineries, forming part of Australia's first families of wine. Visiting Tabilk is a unique experience, where you can either absorb yourself in a tasting in the original cellars, wander the heritage listed underground cellars, visit the more modern Wetlands Cafe, or explore the wetlands and wildlife reserve, either by boat or by foot. of popular access points to Lake Nagambi are located on the outskirts of town. Buckley Park on the southern shore of Lake Nagambi includes a boat ramp, rowing club and picnic grounds. The River Street Reserve at the end of River Street has picnic facilities located on the sandy shoreline and a designated swimming area. There is also plenty to do off the water in and around the Gamby. It all depends on how you're feeling on the day. We highly recommend the thrill seekers get out and try some skydiving. Wow, is that an adrenaline rush? Or if you think a day of golf might suit you, try the beautiful green tree-lined course. Beautifully maintained and right in the middle of town. Chat to the friendly staff and volunteers at the Nagambi Lakes Visitor Information Centre to discover more about the beautiful Goulburn River Valley region. They can help you with just about any permit you may need during your visit. 